is nice and early, it's about eight o'clock. Our plan was to be out by half seven, so we're half an hour late, never mind. We are going, wait, we're leaving Phnom Penh today. Uh, we're getting the half 11 bus. Um, but before before we leave, we want to go and see the Royal Palace and the Silver Pagoda. So we're just heading there now. Luckily, it's about three minute walk or so away from our hotel. So we can maybe try and do that and get back. The guy at the reception when we booked our tickets last night said that we needed to be ready by half ten because sometimes the buses are early. I don't know whether I believe him on that. Do you believe him on that? Is it anything like Vietnam? Maybe. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We have to be ready by half ten anyway. So we've got like two and a half hours to go and do what we need to do and be back and wait for the bus. We are all packed. I've been up since about half past six and packed up and everything. But we want to try and grab some breakfast before we leave. Well, we're in for a little bit of a disappointment because We've got up early for this as well. We've just seen a, a tuk tuk guy who's just said, Don't be in a hurry, don't be in a hurry. It's closed this morning. Apparently, the Royal Palace is closed this morning. They said it doesn't open till noon, which is a shame and odd, and I don't really know why. Well, seeing as it's closed, I'll give you a little montage of shots from outside the palace then. Can't believe it. Okay, so I asked this other tuk-tuk guy and he was saying that it's a special day for Buddhas. That's all the information I've got at the moment. So we're going to go to the National Cam... What's it called? Cambodian National... National Cambodian Museum. That red building that I showed you yesterday that we've just by our hotel, we've just walked past it on the way to the Royal Palace. So we're going to go and do that for an hour. Okay, here we are at the... Cambodian Museum. That's what it's called. National Museum of Cambodia. It is a cool building. Got my tickets, $5 and don't pay for Stephen. It is $10 if you want an audio guide, but I decided not to get an audio guide. That might be a mistake because you might not know what anything is, but this is kind of like a flying visit really. And also it says that I'm not allowed to use my camera in there, so you might not be able to see any of it. You might try and speak some, but we'll see. Stephen's glad we didn't get an audio guide, like each little, we've just walked in and we're already on number 28, like each little figure or a lot of the figures have got their own number. Fam. 
just like a donut shape and then it's just like courtyard in the middle. It's really nice. This is the courtyard. How nice is this? It's got like four little fish ponds. This statue in the middle. Look at the fish, they just all come swimming over. Like if you go over to them, they all come swimming over thinking they're gonna get food. done I think in this museum we probably should like to obviously to appreciate it you really do need to get an audio guide but it did go up to like number 200 or something we just haven't really got the time to spend that long around here and it's not particularly your thing is it Stephen? No he's just been like wandering around more in touch with the um, fish in the uh, in the ponds than he is everything else so we're gonna head back we're gonna go and get some breakfast and go to the shop and get some bits for the bus itching to go I've stopped to take some photos and he's just like I want to leave come on you ready Are you hungry I just wanted to show you our hotel this is our hotel here on the corner we didn't get a balcony room but there obviously are lots of balcony rooms I'm just up in the room. I've left Stephen downstairs in the bar watching something on his iPad. I've just come up to just grab our bags and everything, take them down and wait for our bus. Okay, bags are packed. We are checking out of this room. It's been short and sweet. It's 11.28 and our bus has just arrived. I'm much preferred to have a boat here with you. Bang on time, well, two minutes early. We're on this little bus. I don't think this is the bus that takes us to our destination. I think this is just the one that goes around the hotel. So can you up and everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> we even get real proper bus tickets in Cambodia. Here we go on the bus. Okay, we're on the bus. It is a non sleeper. As you can see, we've got five hours on here. Oh, you like a non sleeper, don't you? Non sleepers? Do I just say? from the bus stop okay we've just arrived just dumped our bags this is our home for maybe the next two nights not entirely sure double bed and bathroom oh i'll show you the bathroom in a second Stephen, have you finished no. no i'll show you the bathroom in a second when Stephen is finished i think we're right on the beach i'm gonna go and have a little explore and see if we are Stephen's out the bathroom now here it is simple bathroom everything you need toilet shower Okay, dumped our bags, we are down on the beach. This beach is called, oh, we're just catching the sunset. This beach is called Serendipity Beach. How nice is that? Let me show you the, uh, the sunset. You can only just see it. I'll show you. Look at that. Just goes behind the trees there. And this is Serendipity Pier as well. This is how you get to the little islands. I don't think I've said about. Why is he falling? warm and do a sea test it is warm I've just 
actually Eliza, I don't think I've even told you where we are. We got the bus from Nom Pen over to, I can't say it, I think that's why I haven't told you. Chinooksville, something like that. Because um, the plan is, like I was just saying, the island, there's Koong and Koong Salom. Again, I'm probably saying those wrong. But two islands that a friend of ours have been to one of them um, last year, or actually I think it was this year and said they're absolutely beautiful so we're planning on maybe going over there to one of the islands so we kind of this is where you kind of come and then you get a boat over to the island so that's the plan just so you know also we're having a little bit of an issue in that can i sit no he's not behind us we got a tuk tuk as you saw from the um from the bus the guy was lovely found our hotel for us and that but he won't leave us alone he keeps saying i don't really understand what he's trying to say that he will take us somewhere and I'll keep saying no I'm alright thanks we've got a hotel we're done so we went and put our bags in the hotel he waited for us to when we came out and then he's driven down to the beach he got off his tuk tuk come to the beach and like started talking to me on the beach and I'm like no I'm okay thank you and like I don't know where he is but we're trying he's to <laughs> we're trying to escape him but we've got a nice sunset to watch <laughs> Get in a musher, of course. Musher is our little alien. A musher on Serendipity Beach. Here's oh, completed baby. musher. Oh, baby musher. Big musher. Baby musher. Serendipity Pier. No, Serendipity Beach version. It's so pretty, this sky. Look at all these beach bars as well. It's just a complete strip of bars along the beach. I think this is a bit of like a party place to be honest. I don't know why he was waiting. I kept telling him that we didn't want anything and he just kept, he kept following us up this road. He has gone. He was not giving up whatsoever. We're heading back to our place. I think we're just going to chill in the bar for a little bit. Maybe get some chips or something. We're not that hungry. Are we? You're not that hungry, are you? No. Just have a drink and chill in the bar, but again, get some chips. This is our place here. We don't know yet, we might just go to bed and wait for breakfast in the morning. We're just going back to our little bungalow and oh, they're running away. There's so many lizards. Look, look, this is our door to get into our place. Little bungalow. And look, they all just like hover above here and like go in this crack. There's loads of them. We are home, I am looking forward to getting into this bed so much. It has been a really nice evening. One of the best things, probably the best thing about traveling is meeting different people from different backgrounds and chatting to them and things. And I've had a nice chats with a couple of people tonight at the bar in our place. We're going to sleep. I'm gonna end the vlog here because we are gonna just gonna, we are just gonna go there. I'm going to end the vlog here because we're just going to get into bed and I'm just going to have a really night, it's, not, it's about half past nine-ish and tomorrow we have only booked one night here but I'm going to stay another night. Our plans have kind of changed a little bit because about the, the whole islands, there's two islands that you can go to. I don't know that I've said any of this but we are potentially meeting up with another 
single mum um, traveling around the world with her kid on one of the islands and she's going out there on Thursday today's Tuesday so anyway I'm trying to sort out some plans and some things um, so potentially we might stay here one more night and then go over to the island and stay with them which is super exciting it's for a little bit of adult company for me but anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you for watching say good night Stephen good night, <laughs> good night. see you tomorrow